teach you how to create a new garage band project and how to experiment with loops. So the first thing you're going to need to do is open GarageBand, then click File at the top, and File, New. Then Empty Project, you can either double click here or press Choose, both gets the same thing. Make sure the microphone is selected, not the piano, not the guitar, microphone, Create. Here we are. Now, to access our loops, and what a loop is, is a small section of music that repeats over and over again. So to access these loops, these sections of music, we're going to click on the loop-de-loop -loop at the top right corner. You can search for loops by instrument, genre, or descriptors. Notice that some of these are grayed out. That means that you can't select them, but the ones that are in white text, you can select and use in your project. So anything that is in white text is up for grabs. I like to search by instrument. And let me start with, let's do a kit. A kit is a drum kit. I'm just gonna click the first one. Cool, that's like a freestyle conga break. I like that one. I'm gonna stick that one in my top track. I'm gonna start my song with that. I'm gonna click the plus sign, and I'm gonna add a new track for some new loops. Click the loop-de-loop. -loop. Now let's get rid of all of these kit options. I'm gonna press the X. And let's pick an instrument, something that has a melody. It could be used for melody. I'm gonna do organ. I like organ. I think these southern rock organ ones are cool, so let's take a listen to it. You can click it to sample it. Oh yeah, I like that. Okay, so I sampled it, I like it, I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna drag it. Okay, let's listen to that so far. I can press space bar or I can press or I can press play. Mm. And I'm noticing this freestyle conga needs it to go longer, so I'm gonna repeat the loop. That's what they're here for. Loop de loop de loop and see how my cursors become a little loop when I click and drag it. That's what I want. Okay. Now this needs more. Click down here. Maybe I feel like it needs some kind of beat. So I'm gonna press X to get rid of all the organ stuff. And I'm gonna add a beat. Beats. Let's see, what should we have? I don't know about that one. Hmm. Maybe what about a float beat? Well, this one. Yeah, let's try it. Almost electro beat. That might sound wacky. I'm interested in that one. For some reason, I added it in the middle. So let's try sticking it there. I'm going to move it down just so it's in an order that I like. See what happens. I think I like it, but I can barely hear it. So I know on our last project, we remembered how we can mess with the audio levels. I'm going to turn these down a bit. I'm going to turn this one up and see if I can hear it a little bit better. Cool, let's listen to it. All right, and I would probably edit that around a bit. Maybe I would leave some, maybe I would take some, maybe I would make this section come in at a different part, I don't know. And then once I'm done creating this section of music, I would make a new section of music. So maybe I would make this end here, and then I would start pasting in some different tracks to change it here. So maybe I would put the afloat beat there and I would see how this would fade into that one if I liked it or if it was too abrupt or if I want it to be abrupt. I don't know. It's completely up to you to experiment and see what sounds you can make and what you think. So have fun.